Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. We are going to be playing with a brand new face primer. I don't know if I've ever even really done a full on dedicated review to a primer on my channel before. Huh, I'm not sure. I have nearly 300 videos on my channel so I apologize if that is incorrect, but I have in front of me brand new from Good Molecules. This is their silicone free priming moisturizer. If you have watched any of my videos before, you know that I am not a fan of silicones. They clog my pores, they make me look dull, and ultimately sometimes I can really end up with breakouts and very irritated skin. So for me, when I see dimethicone based primers, I usually run in the other direction. So when I saw this was launching, I was super excited about it. Um, Good Molecule is actually nice enough to send this to me. They have sent me a few of their products before. I am a huge fan of the brand. The first time I had a chance to try them was last year actually when they did their Lucky Bags. That's when they kind of introduced the brand. I got their, I think it's their Super Peptide Serum, which I absolutely love. I am obsessed with the Rosehip Seed Oil, their Hydrating Face Oil. I love the Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. There are so many of their serums that are just so fantastic, and I just absolutely love them. Now, Good Molecules is exclusive to Beautylish. It is their brand. Something that it is very similar to as far as price range goes is The Ordinary. I have tried The Ordinary before, and personally, I do enjoy good molecules a little bit more. I feel like they just have straight up good active ingredients in their products with really no fillers or fragrances or anything like that. So I just really do like the good molecules line. So this retails for $14. Let's just go ahead and talk about some specs. So this is plant-based, naturally derived, and it does have an alternative to silicone, which will help smooth the skin's textures and plump up fine lines with a lightweight, breathable feel, which yes, every single one of my prayers when it comes to a primer. So many boxes just checked. It has macadamia seed oil, which I did look up, and that is a non-comedogenic oil, so it will not clog your pores. It says it will nourish and promote, and it promotes skin cell regeneration. And then there's shea butter, which helps soothe and heal skin with an antioxidant, vitamin E as well. And then it says it also has essential fatty acids from olive oil to help protect and strengthen the skin's barrier function while delivering moisture deep within the skin. Sounds so, so good. I have not tried this yet. This is the first time trying it out for you guys today. It comes with 50 milliliters or 1.7 ounces, silicone free, fragrance free, alcohol free, mineral oil free, peg free, never tested on animals, and vegan. So if we look at the ingredients, right away in the first few ingredients we see water, we see shea butter, ceteral alcohol, which again is a fatty alcohol, which is good for your skin. We have the macadamia seed oil, and then um, hyaluronic acid in here. So overall, it has a very nice promising ingredient list. So let's go ahead and try some of this out. It is so, so cold in my filming space right now. I am freezing and I am just not really excited about touching a primer to my face right now because my hands are so cold. So it does have a pump obviously, which is nice. I can tell it's one of those vacuum pumps, which is amazing because it will keep air out of the formula. So here is what one pump looks like on the hands. Just looks like your typical moisturizer. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. And we are going to go ahead and apply it to the skin. Wow, that is very spreadable and feels very nice so far. Now, it is not causing my face to turn red. Do not be alarmed. I just have very reactive skin. Anytime I touch, or especially in this area, I will turn red. Now my face did drink up quite a bit of that product, so I did have to go in and grab just a little bit more for the forehead area. Doesn't surprise me because right here is where I am the absolute driest right now. I have so many dry spots right now, my skin is going through it. All right, so let's just take a look at things. Yeah, I mean, my skin definitely looks rehydrated, which is nice. Does what it says it's going to do. My skin feels very soft, very smooth. So this is promising so far based on the texture. So for foundation, we are going to go ahead and use the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation. I chose this foundation because it offers a natural finish. And the reason why obviously I'm going with that is because this is a moisturizing primer. So for me, this is a good way to tell how moisturizing that is. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is literal ice hitting my windows right now. There's like sleet or something outside. Usually where I am, the weather doesn't start acting like this until January, but here we are. We are just shy of hitting December and we already have a crap ton of snow on the ground and now I hear ice 
crystals hitting my window. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and blend this in with my beauty blender. Now I do feel like my foundation blended very nicely on top of this primer so far. Everything looks really good. Nothing is grabbing. And I can honestly tell you that I do see a little bit more of a sheen, a little bit more of a glowiness peeking out from underneath this foundation. So this foundation I am very used to. It is one of my absolute favorite foundations. I do reach for this one quite often. I do rotate it with my L'Oreal 24 hour infallible. I just kind of like this one because sometimes, it, you know, you want a little bit more coverage and that's what this gives. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer this up just a bit more, just to get a little bit more coverage. Side note, totally off subject, but I have been really into like super fluffy brows. I haven't been using recently a powder or anything. I use just the Glossier Boy Brow and I just kind of sweep my brows upward and I have absolutely been loving it. Like I am obsessed with this more natural fluffy brow look. I just think it looks so pretty and effortless and natural and I'm just, I'm here for it and it's so much easier to do than to carve out your brows. God, this foundation is just such a beautiful foundation and I'll tell you right now, I'm loving it even more on top of this primer. This is looking beautiful and I can tell you I am seeing some blurring here. Now I do normally have larger pores in this area. Obviously you're not gonna be able to pick that up a ton on camera but I do tend to have have some larger pores right here. And I do feel like things just look a little bit more smooth and a little bit more plush on the skin, which usually I can tell you is a little bit hard to come by when it comes to moisturizing primers. Um, you just don't usually see a lot of, of a smoothing effect, I guess you could say, along with hydration. And I think that this looks really really nice. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will be back with the final look. All right, you guys, so I just completed all of my makeup. I've had a chance to let everything kind of sit. I just filmed a review for the Kylie Cosmetics 2019 Holiday Collection. If you haven't checked that video out already because it will go up before this one, I will put the link up here so you guys can check that out if you're interested. But I do have to say this primer is a win. I mean, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. It really hydrated my skin. I feel like my foundation and other products layered beautifully on top of it. Super comfortable. I didn't notice any irritation or anything. It just really put down a really beautiful base for my foundation. I think that everything just looks really gorgeous. I have glitter all over my face. Please excuse me. I think my makeup looks really, really nice. For 14 bucks, I think it's definitely worth checking out if you want something like this. If you have sensitive skin, skin that is prone to redness, if you are dry, any kind of compromised skin and you're looking for a good primer that will help your base go on beautifully and flawlessly, I really think that you will enjoy this primer. Again, for 14 bucks, you get almost two ounces. Packaging is nice. It's just a really beautiful formula. They did not pay me to make this video. I have no affiliation. I don't make commissions or anything else like that. This product just really stood out to me and it was something that I thought I wanted to review and share with you guys. If you plan on trying out this primer, leave a comment down below. And if you have tried out Good Molecules before, I would love to know what you really love from the brand or if there's something that you have been kind of eyeing. Not quite sure if you wanted to try it yet, but now you do. Leave that product down below as well. I would love to hear your thoughts as well as your feedback back on the brand from your point of view. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, share it, and of course be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. I love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys!